I've been volunteering at the Hangar Flight Museum for just over two years. And uh, the F-86 Sabre is my favorite airplane because when I was a young lad, I actually wanted to become a fighter pilot. So I started volunteering at the Hangar Flight Museum because I, when I retired, I was looking for something to occupy my time. And I've always had an interest in, uh, in aviation. Uh, I've always wanted to uh, be around aircraft. So when I saw this volunteer opportunity come up, it was part of the education program, I thought it would be a good fit for me. And uh, what I like about volunteering here is the, when they bring the school kids in, uh, the interaction between the kids, uh, you know, teaching them about aircraft, the theory of flight, it's, uh, I find it very rewarding and it's something I really enjoy. This is the F-86 Sabre, a jet fighter the United States government started to design in 1945 and first flew in 1947. It was capable of supersonic speed in a dive and was the second aircraft to officially fly faster than the speed of sound in 1948. It was a dominant Western aircraft in the 1950s with almost 10,000 produced. In 1949, the Canadian government decided to replace it, its frontline fighters with the Sabre and it signed a licensing agreement with the United States government to build the Sabre in Canada. From 1950 to 1958, Canada built just over 1,800 Sabres in six different variants. The Mark V and Mark VI variants used Canadian jet engines, and the Mark VI variant was considered to be the best production Sabre ever built. Although the main purpose of building the Sabres in Canada was to supply the Royal Canadian Air Force, we also built over 800 Sabres for Air Forces of other countries, including the United States, which used them during the Korean War. It became the first ever aircraft to break the sound barrier over Canadian soil. And in 1953, Jacqueline Cochran became the first woman ever to break the speed of sound in a Canadian-built Sabre. The Royal Canadian Air Force's aerobatic team, the Golden Hawks, used the Sabre from 1959 to 1964. The Sabre was retired from frontline service in 1963, but was used in other roles until 1968. Our Sabre is the second production model delivered to the United States Air Force in 1948. It was used as a chase plane for high-speed rocket-propelled aircraft. And it is known that Chuck Yeager, the first man to break the speed of sound in an aircraft, has flown this very Sabre. The Sabre was restored using parts from Canadian-built Sabres and it has the markings of Royal Canadian Air Force Sabres that operated in Canada. 23175 was chosen as the number on the aircraft because the number 23 was a serial prefix number on Mark V and Mark VI Canadian-built Sabres. One is for the 1st Canadian Air Division, which was in Europe. And 75 is for the 75th anniversary of the Royal Canadian Air Force, which was in 1999, the year restoration on our Sabre was completed.